When I got married and moved into the beautiful, historic downtown apartment my husband had lived in for over a decade, we knew it would not be long term. The rent was affordable enough that we could save money, and through our frugal DIY efforts, we made it quite comfortable and pleasing to the eye, so it would be where we made a home until we found our forever homestead. Something like a cute cape on a few acres with a patch of grass I would sink my bare toes into while sipping my morning coffee. And chickens. Definitely chickens. I had grown up in the country, and I wanted to be reunited with that life. We both agreed, we'll stay where we are until we find a place we like better. And we commenced hunting for our home. In the meantime, to fulfill that rural life yearning, we committed ourselves to practicing homesteading and self-sufficiency skills where we were, so that we'd be ready when the forever homestead presented itself. We sought guidance where needed, and taught ourselves how to gradually develop a deep pantry, rotate and cook those foods to prevent waste, and preserve our own food through canning, dehydrating, freezing, and fermentation. We learned to grow some food, first in window boxes, then in adopted park plots and through a farm share, and built a no-pumps hydroponic system that provides us greens all winter long. We learned how to properly paint a room and practiced over and over and over again through each room in our home. We learned how to build things, asked for power tools for Christmas, became YouTube junkies, learning how to refinish a clawfoot tub, use a sewing machine, knit, weave a basket, forage for mushrooms and wild edibles, make homemade lip balm and cleaning products, play the ukulele, replace light switches, outlets, washing machine pumps and thermostats, all so that we could be frugal and fix what we had without having to hire a guy to do it. See, when you live in the country, you need to entertain yourself. You can't always pop to town every time you need a can of tomatoes. And there might not be a guy who can come and install a dimmer switch for you. It's really good that we learned all of those things, because they've come in handy since we bought a place, which just happens to be that beautiful historic downtown building. When our landlord decided to retire and sell, we had not yet found a place we liked better. So we had a choice, find a home in a hurry or buy the one we were in. We don't like making big decisions under duress, so while we kept our eyes open for other places, we moved forward with negotiating a reasonable price for the building we were in and closed on it a few months later. So here we are on our downtown homestead living proof that you can build confidence, capability, practical skills, and self-sufficiency no matter where you live. I don't have a patch of grass to wiggle my toes in every morning. Our yard is a 14 by 30 foot rectangle of pavement out back where we park our cars. But when you walk through the door to our home, it pulses with homestead life. Sourdough bubbling on the butcher block, fresh bread on the counter, vibrantly colored ferments adorning a kitchen shelf, canning jars, serving as flower vases, drinking glasses, and food storage containers. Plants are being propagated in every patch of sunshine. Hydroponic lettuce and Swiss chard fill my office. Kombucha is on tap at all times. And my homemade apron adds a pop of paisley to the pantry. Our home is living proof. You don't need to have 50 acres and a mule. Or chickens. Homesteading is a mindset, a way of life, a bucket of skills that generate capability and self-reliance. After more than a decade of practicing this mindset, these skills, and this way of life, we're creating a living classroom inside our building where we can share and instill in others the desire and ability to do for themselves as much as they can, right where they are. There's no doubt in our minds that no matter how turbulent the times in the world, if people feel confident in their abilities and can help steady themselves and their neighbors, we can foster strength, stability, and resilience in our community and beyond, today and forever forward. Please join us.